this is what you do with scrap pieces of foam. You draw kids' names out, cut them out, paint them, and hang them on the wall. You are doing awesome. my little helpers over here we are putting the first coat of sealer on the top here I looked for dry lock uh, Lowe's didn't carry it didn't know they'd never even heard of it I went by I looked online they said Home Depot carried it so I went down to Home Depot they didn't have it uh, they said it was internet only so I got this one uh, let's see what's it called uh, let's see, bullseye, one, two, three, primer for all surfaces, water base, interior, exterior. So, oh, and it's tintable, so I, I tinted it gray, and it's always good when you got some little helpers. Yeah, I was about to paint this. Yeah, everything, everything but the table, preferably. Anyway, uh, we will check back here in a little bit once we this dries and we start with the uh, the detailing. Okay, okay, guys. Basically, what I'm doing is um, putting a coat of black on, make sure you're getting in all the cracks really well, because later on when you come back and dry brush it with a gray, it'll emphasize the cracks a lot more. So. Make sure you get the cracks really good, but everything could eventually get off an entire coat of black. So my dad just let the cracks dry, all the um, paint dry, and now he's painting, spray painting. come back over and you do a dry brush with a gray, everything that is recessed will stay black and all the high spots, that's the only part that'll get uh, the dry brush is the parts that are sticking the parts that are sticking up. Everything recessed will stay black. And it'll really start coming together looking like real stone. I don't think so, Cletus. No more spray on the water hose. What's this weekend? Mommy, I don't like being sprayed. So this really did. It turned out really good. Uh, he worked really, really hard on it. Anytime you do a spray paint like this, make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Here's in. another thing he did. On the back porch with the ceiling fan going. Okay guys, here it is. Uh, I've got it going. I need to hide that wheel up there. Let's see. 
I just I put one coat of dry lock on the on the base. I'm gonna have to paint these black so when this thing retracts back, it you won't see them. Uh, of course, I'm gonna have to disc this because this looks like stone. This looks like this just looks too perfect. So, anyways, but that's it. Open up, and then I'm gonna have some some blue LEDs underneath uh, inside. I'll probably pipe in a smoke machine. So you'll see the light and the smoke come up every time it opens. I don't know. I may have to, in order to fit a fog machine under there, I may have to put some boards right here, down here, and raise it up. I don't know. Four, uh, I don't know. Four or six inches. I may have to do that, though. I may have to make it even taller, and I hope not. But anyways, I uh, did my final coat with a really, really light gray got my cracks in there I don't know and I will probably do like some LED candles like right here I don't know I might do like a bunch of like a, like a bundle of them, like three or four of them anyways that's it we're getting close to being done here